Okay. So who's your new bill? Oh, I wouldn't call him that yet. He hasn't earned the B. Mm. He's more of an ooh. Mm. <laughs> so what's ooh's name? Sergio. Mm. I knew a Sergio once. He was a pimp. <laughs> it's Sergio, pimpin'. Trick better have my money. He's not <laughs> a pimp. Girl, I haven't even pulled out my wallet yet. He's always spoiling me and complimenting me. Mm. He whispers the sweetest things in my ear. Just like a pimp. You need to quit. Sergio's a nice guy. Oh, so he's ugly. No. He lives with his mom? Just because he's a perfect gentleman doesn't mean there's something wrong with him. A perfect gentleman? Mm hmm Oh. So he's gay. Oh, he's definitely not gay. Mm. Let's just say I have hard evidence. Ooh, OMG, TMI. <laughs> when you ask. So how did you meet him? Online. Oh, so you trying to catch a predator now, hmm? Isn't that kind of scary? No, it's like the safest way to meet people these days. Mm -hmm. That's what they all say. Until they end up stabbed, tied up in the basement, and Fantasia is playing them in a Lifetime movie. Honey, I'll always love you. I promise to always love you. Cause I think the whole world of you. And you can't change that. When you meet someone online, it, it starts with emails. And if you're still feeling each other, you graduate to the phone. Now, if he doesn't end every sentence in, <laughs> you feel me? Then you meet in person. Mm -hmm. I feel you. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad my dating days are over. The only man feeling on me is my husband. <laughs> I mean, why do you think they call him Hot Hands? He didn't get that nickname just from playing basketball. OMG, TMI, sis. <laughs> but I do want to meet your new ill. You'll meet him. When? I don't know. Oh, maybe this weekend. What's this weekend? Only the greatest day of the year. The Weave Expo? Oh, I didn't get my text alerts. Oh, girl, <sighs> my birthday, silly. Well, that's right. Somebody's turning the face. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Don't you know if you say your age out loud, it'll make you grow old faster? And don't you know if you say Candyman in the mirror three times, he'll show up? Actually, it's five times. <laughs> So what you gonna do for your birthday? Mm, I don't know. I was thinking about throwing a party. It's a good idea. Yeah. In fact, why don't you have it at my house? Uh, no, you know, I don't want to impose on you and John. Oh, please. John won't mind. Especially if he wants the cookie this weekend. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> T-M-I. <laughs> I'm just keeping it 100. Well, just keep it to yourself. <laughs> and it's settled. You have your party at my house and consider it your birthday gift. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sis. <laughs> oh. Anything for my big sis on her big day. Hold up. Your ass is older mm -hmm. than me. <laughs> Don't you know if you say that out loud, your kids will come out looking like trap. <laughs> Isn't this nice? Us working out together? You work out. I mostly just watch your fine behind. A healthy couple is a happy couple. We'll just keep working your bootiest maximus. This is what I love about us. We keep it fresh. I never want us to lose that thing that made us want to be together forever. The quan. The what? The Quan. Remember that movie Jerry Maguire where Cuba Gooden Jr.'s character tells Tom Cruise about that thing that kept he and his wife together? Right, Vivica Fox. No, she's a stripper in Independence Day. <laughs> Cuba's wife and Jerry Maguire was Regina King, the little girl from 227. Oh, that's right, at Southland. I mean, who would have guessed she'd be the one to make it big from that show? Who are you telling? I had my money on her neighbor, Calvin. <laughs> John? What are we talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> the Quan! Baby, you ever want us to lose the Quan? Well, we haven't lost it in four years. That's why working out together is so important mm -hmm. for our health 
and for the health of our corn. <laughs> Working out is sweaty and funky. I like my corn showered in cologne. Oh, okay. Well, let's promise to do something every day in the name of the corn. Mm. Whatever you say, Cuba. <laughs> so who's this new loser your sister's date? Sergio is not a loser, and Joy says he's a nice guy. No disrespect to your sister, but she couldn't pick a nice guy at a nice guy retreat. Well, she's trying to change that. What's wrong with this one? Married but single? <laughs> Gave it straight? Stealing for Jesus? None of the above. Joy says he's a keeper, which is why I want to meet him. You don't want my big sister to find her Quan, just like I did. Well, I just hope her Quan doesn't pull up in a gold Cadillac wearing a gold rope over a gold suit with a gold front holding up a gold chalice. <laughs> and his name better not be Goldie. Well, aren't you older than your sister? Shh. Let's talk more Quan. Okay, so let's review again. We want the theme for your birthday party to be Caribbean nights, outdoor bar and grill, band, comedian, yellow, black, and gold color scheme. What about a DJ? Oh, we got back up to our little brother Rodney. And you'll get me Lil Rod's contact. Ooh, please don't call him that. He hates when anyone calls him Lil Rod, except all his close friends and family, of course. And his barber, motorcycle club, and the singles ministry at his church. Oh, and all his Twitter followers. I mean, crazy Lil Brother is DJ. <laughs> Got it. Well, I have to give a pap smear exam in an hour. I will get started with this when I'm done at the hospital. And if I have any other questions, I'll give you a ring. Thank you, Dr. J. <laughs> Dr. J is your gynecologist and your event planner. And my therapist. Oh yeah, she literally knows me inside now. <laughs> How does she have that many jobs and not be Jamaican? Oh, I call on her all the time. I call her a Jamaican. <laughs> Jamaican. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, party people. Hey. Uh, Ooh. how did you know that we were having a party? We ran into Dr. J in the driveway. Yeah. You know she can't hold water. Yeah, is she really a doctor? Only one of the best in town. How come I don't know about her? Maybe because you don't have a vagina. Oh, oh she's a she's a lady doctor. <laughs> I told you that. When? How come I don't remember? Because you're not a good listener. That is not true. Okay. When is my birthday? So sometime this year. Oh yeah, the leaves changing, the rain. Uh, I know it hasn't passed. Years of marriage, uh, three kids, and he still doesn't know my birthday. Ah, she's exaggerating. August 12th. Wrong. <laughs> Joy, just know that I would never forget your birthday. Oh, you're so sweet. Thanks, Loretta. Ah, it's September 11th. Wrong. <laughs> Do we need to bring anything to the bar? Uh, just you and Mario. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> if he can't remember my birthday, he certainly can't come to yours. December 26th. <laughs> no, that's Kwanzaa. Come on, Mr. Brain Fart. Yeah. We'll see you guys on Saturday. June 11th. Oh. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> what? What? No. Yes. This is so going to be so fun. awesome. I can't wait for you to meet my food. Yeah. You got a couple of these, mm -hmm. some of these, oh, and a few of these. You know what, just give me the whole tray. That way I ain't got to leave no <laughs> That's, That's a lot of food for one person, Lil Rod. Well, but then I'm eating for two, because prison food is not what's up. If I have to eat one more inmate's last meal, I swear to God, I'm going to kill somebody. Deal at Pelican Bay? Yeah, just got promoted to Watchtower Sniper. Just me and my widow maker. Anybody try to get cute, make a run for it, try to climb over the fence, but girl! 
Well, it's good to see you aiming high. Thanks, Unk. Got something I can wash this down with? I'll get you something from the bar. Now, when I walk away, don't shoot me in the back. And please, we don't shoot people in the back. He always aim for the head. <laughs> this place is so classic, so unhood. Oh, my son has good taste in everything. Well, almost everything. Now, that was cold. You need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Ooh, I love it when you talk straight to me. Hey, I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut. You feel me? Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh, sucky, sucky now. Oh, no, you just bad. Why don't we uh, skip dinner and go straight to dessert? <laughs> to choose from. You know the house. What about in here? Oh, no, that's the closet. In there, there's more room and there's a couch. <laughs> Look at this poop butt. He think because he in the NBA, he could be Tommy. Remember, I taught you this game in my backyard, so you need to bow down, son. Everybody saw it. He found me. Almost took my head off. Wow, man. Who taught you that move? Taliban? Thank God for rules and witnesses. Oh. Bring it back. Bring it back. Don't get too anxious now. Now I got one more. What? What? That was a flagrant. You risked my eye. Come my eye, man. Come on now. You saw that? Ah, uh, lace, lay by lace. Can't step. You gotta wait till I finish shooting. Everybody saw it. Ball. You gotta wait till I release the ball, man. You can't move like that. Everybody saw it. Nah, nah, you can't nah. do that. What are you talking Everybody about? Everybody saw it, man. You can't move. You gotta wait till I release the ball. You, just say His no. His eyes man. right here. I stay right here outside the paint till I finish shooting. Right here. Come on, come on, man. Why are you cheating? No. Why are you cheating, man? Hey. <laughs> I'm in love with the other woman. My life is fine till she blew my mind. I'm just the average guy. Fool around a little on the side. Never thought it would amount to much Never met a girl whose love was so tough Who'd have thought a one night stand Could turn into such a hot romance mm, But when she did it to me I slipped and fell in love Ah, bitches. You missed us? Muy bien, Martin. And you? Just chilling. <laughs> What can I get you? How about sex on the beach? Sure, but I don't get off until five. Hit it once, then break away clean. Having fun? Yeah, this party is off the link. Don't you mean off the chain? The chain, the link, the fence, all of them. <laughs> In the world, did they get Ray Parker Jr. to be the entertainment? He's one of the neighbors. Wow. Who doesn't live in Kimberly Wood? Julio Iglesias doesn't live in Kimberly Wood, or Enrique, or Don Francisco. <laughs> no, what I meant was... Never mind. With the other one. This is good. I'm leaving you a big tip. No, 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 no. Yes, you're working. Instead of tipping me, let me take you out sometime when I'm not working. Okay. Baby, I just want you to know, my quan only has eyes for you. Oh, your quan has been turning me on all day. Mm. I'm having my own quan summer. 
<laughs> ah, looks like the birthday girl finally got here. This is Sergio. Sergio, this is my sister Dina and her husband John. Joyce told me so much about you guys. I heard a lot about you too, pimp. <laughs> I mean, Sergio. <laughs> and that's how the Dodgers won the World Series. Tell me more. Give me a couple of hours. <laughs> What's up? Okay, you're not gonna believe this, but I think I know my sister's new boyfriend. For real? Well, introduce me. Maybe he has a brother, cause he's cute. Oh, wait a minute. Look, th there's a story here, girl. Remember when we were in the islands for your 21st birthday? How could I ever forget? It was off the chain, but. Okay, but remember when we met those guys? We met guys every night. And it seemed like they were all named Ziggy. I'm talking about that night that I didn't come back to our hotel room. The night that I had my first and only one night stand. Oh, you mean the night you didn't do much standing. <laughs> That's your one night stand? That's my one night stand. on the next Beauty and the Baller. Are you sure that's your one night stand? I'm positive. In Jamaica, what did uh, you tell Tony your name was? Tina. Tina? Well, I didn't think I'd ever see him again. <laughs> Let's keep it real. Sometimes when we go out of the country and do something naughty, when we get back, it doesn't count, right? Oh, mierda. Code of silence. So. I found out at my sister's birthday party that her new man and I had a fling 10 years ago in Jamaica. But neither of us has to admit it because we both used fake names when we hooked up. So we can't really prove that we hooked up, even though we know we did. And now you're torn between telling your sister about your hookup with her future baby daddy or taking that dirty little secret to the grave. Are you also a psychic? Because you just read my mind. Why do you feel torn? Because she's my sister. Hey, sis, we need to talk. Thank you.